Uh, what's up guys, it's Bye Bye here. Uh, I am on my uh, junior account in Kingdom 556. Right? We are in uh, KVK against 1254 right now. But today, video is not about the KVK. Uh, today videos, I want to do a little bit of testing to find out which one is better. Normal attack damage versus counter attack damage, right? So like a lot of you guys uh, might be wondering why I want to do the test. So one thing is that I was doing, uh, I was, I wanted to do like a video on Attila uh, to see if he's still good in uh, 2022, especially with him getting released in uh, the the daily special bundle, right? So I was doing, uh, I was doing, uh, like I, I, I wanted to do a video on him, but then uh, he has some skill that increase normal attack damage and counter attack damage. And then there was something going on during uh, some of my testing. And I figured that, okay, might as well just do a, a real test here to find out what exactly a counter attack damage can do and normal attack damage can do. So how how am I going to perform the test? So I am using a tailor, right? A tailor decayer. Um, so if you notice that a tailor have a, a tree, so right now, this is the current tan tree that I'm using. Uh, so my initial test is going to be using a tail decayer with the current tree right here with no, with nothing else, okay? Uh, the next one is, the next test is going to be me adding in 7.5% normal attack damage, right? So I'm going to be increasing 3, I'm going to put 3 skill points in Dragon Saber, which gave me 1.5% normal attack damage. And I'm going to be putting 3 more points in Martial Ma Mastery here, that gave me another 6% normal attack damage. Which equivalent of like a 7.5% normal attack damage increase in total. So that is going to be the test for normal attack damage. And the next test is going to be uh, me using... Um, me using... Where is my Artilla? Uh, the, the next test is going to be me using this uh, accessory here. Vengeance, right? So one of the... One of the reasons I had to do the test on uh, 556 account is because I do not have vengeance on my main account. <laughs> anyway guys, um, so let's go ahead. Right, let's go ahead and do a little bit of, of testing here today. And um, after the test, I, I'm going to show you guys some of the report and uh, we'll see. Wait, we'll see uh, what we can find out today, okay guys? So this is going to be the first test. I'm going to hit the level 42 Barbarian here. Uh, we got one level 42 here for the first test, uh, now level 42 here for the second test, and now another level 42 here for the third test, guys. So here we go. So this first, uh, the, the first test right here is, it, it's not, it, it doesn't have anything, doesn't have any stat increase, okay? So this could be the first test with no stat increase. Uh, I think the second test is gonna be. I think the second test I'm gonna try to go with that uh eight percent eight percent counter attack damage first. Okay, then maybe we we can compare. We can compare a little bit more. I think maybe I'm gonna have to run four tests. Uh, first test with nothing. Second test with eight percent counter attack damage increase. Third test is with seven point five percent normal attack damage increase. And the fourth test is gonna be both seven point five percent. Normal attack damage increase and 8% counter attack damage increase. Okay. And, and we'll see. Right? We'll see how much they can uh, affect the, the, the damages. How much they can affect the, the unit we can kill here uh, against Barbarian. Okay. Then we'll move on to the second battle here. Hopefully, nobody got to try to kill my level 42 Barbarian here. So we got one here. We got two here. Oh, we, we need another one. Uh, three here. Oh, I don't have a whole bunch here. Yeah. We're good. We're good. So these videos might be pretty long, right? So I'm gonna put like some timestamp in the video so that you guys can click on it. Okay, so first the report is done, okay? First battle is done. Okay, we gotta go back into the city here. And then we is going to uh, do an uh, We gotta do ex- Oh. Before that, uh, I need to change equipment, right? So this test is gonna be with 8% counter attack damage. Equip. Yes, that's why, right, boy. So we're gonna have 8% counter attack damage on my artillery now. 
Uh, go with this one. And we got charge in to zip low 42. Uh, I'm a, I am not on Alliance territory, right? Yep, I am not on Alliance territory. So it's not it's definitely not being affected by Alliance territory here. So uh, why are we waiting? Why are we waiting for the level 42 battle report done? We can look at the first one, right? Uh, and see how much um how much normal attack damage and counter attack damage we can do. Um and we'll see. We'll do a final comparison at the end. Alright, look at the report for the first one. Uh battle. Oh. Look at the battle log here. First one. Uh let look at the number three. Um uh, so we got every defense, scout attack damage taken by 10%. Okay, we're good. Turn three, we're good. Uh in turn three, we got uh Attila attack. Uh Barbarian lost five thirty seven units. Okay. So we were, we were able to inflict 537 illness on Barbarian. Okay. So no buff, we got 537. 537. Uh, so this one is on attack. Uh, oh shoot, what happening? What do I do? I press on something. I press on that uh, console. One is attack, and the other one is gonna be counter attack. So five thirty seven on the first one uh, here, and we got counter attack five thirty units, okay, five fifty. Okay. So from what I see, is that counter attack is always higher. Counter attack is always higher than uh, normal attack here. Uh, even there, even though there is. Um, no buff whatsoever here, right? So we got the first one is we can inflict 537 units. The second one, the counter attack damage is higher, 550. And when you're looking at the troop buff, right? You're looking at the troop buff here, right? Uh, I got oh, I got a counter attack damage plus three percent somewhere. Uh, <laughs> where do I get the counter attack damage plus three percent from? So, so look like I think the reason why uh, the reason why we're seeing a uh, 550 uh, 550 uh, counter attack that counter attack more here is because we got that three percent uh, three percent counter attack damage somewhere um all damage plus three percent is it oh my god it might be from my VAP level <laughs> it might be from my it, it might be from my VAP buff uh so VAP buff here we got Sunset, cannon, troop attack, hospital capacity, gathering, go speed. Uh, I don't have anything here. Hmm, surprisingly. Where is that all damage plus 3% coming from? Hmm. Uh, all damage plus 3% coming, can be coming from here, right? Oh, oh! The all damage plus 3% is from uh, <laughs> our kingdom buff. Yo, we uh, we rank number one in uh, the pre KVK. Um, I don't know where is that counter attack damage plus three percent coming from though. Like, why am I getting that three percent counter attack damage? Uh, so this one is the one with no buff whatsoever. But uh, I'm I'm having that. Uh, I have that three percent. I have that additional three percent counter attack damage increase. So we just have to we just have to subtract it out, right? We, so this is gonna be the base. The base is with 3% counter, counter attack damage, okay. Um, so actually, let's say no buff for now, right? Um, let's say 3% counter. It has the 3% counter, counter attack damage. Um, definitely, is, is it from my, can from my, can it be from my Takeda? Where the heck is that 3% counter attack damage coming from? Skill damage, normal attack damage reduction, counter attack damage reduction here. Uh, where the heck is that? Is that from the flame altar or some shit? Uh, let me look at my lands here. Holy side. Anything that gives counter attack damage. Rally. Troop uh, defense, research speed up here. Troop attack. Troop health, mark speed, troop health. 
Where the heck is that three percent counter damage coming from? Uh, let me let me look at my uh, CD here in terms of civilization. Oh, the goddamn the goddamn Viking! <laughs> it becomes a Viking civilization, guys. Okay. Uh, oh my goodness. Anyway, so we got Viking. Let's put Viking here. Viking. Jesus Christ. Uh, so let's put that over there. So we got the second. Uh, we got the second report, right? So let me send uh, this guy home. Let me send that guy home, okay? We got um. Let's do this one counter. Where's it? So three percent from count. Counter attack from Viking civilization. Uh, okay. So that is probably one of the reasons why we are seeing the small, slight difference here in terms of like counter attack, counter attack damage. Because usually these two numbers are supposed to be the same, right? Uh, but because of that three percent from Viking, we are seeing a small difference here, right? Uh, so now with the next one, uh, let's go again. So next time, uh, this one I'm gonna remove. Uh, I am going to remove it uh, accessory here, but I'm going to adding in the talent tree. Okay, so this one is gonna give me that 1.5% normal attack damage, and this one gonna give me that uh, 6%. So we got 7.5% normal attack damage increased total. And let's go and kill this level 42 barbarian again. All right. Uh, in the meantime, we gotta look at the second report, guys. Right. So this is the one with eight percent counter attack damage, right? So when you're looking at the troop buff, uh, the accessory buff is not included here. Okay. So three percent. Uh, so the base is still three percent here. But I think when you go in, go into the battle lock, you'll see it, right? So counter attack damage plus eight percent right here, as you can see. Second one, we got that uh eight percent counter attack damage. So let's go to turn three. Hopefully, uh, okay, that's good. We don't get, we do not get that uh, damage increase. So here we got five thirty-eight unit versus five eighty-four. Okay. So this one is five thirty-eight, and the counter attack is oh five eighty-four. Okay. Five eighty-four. All right. So, how much increase here? Percentage increase. Um, let's put a percent here. It's gonna be equal to. Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Attack. Uh, percent increase gonna be equal to this one minus this one. Device for five three seven. Oh, there are problem. Uh, should a yeah, bracket here. Zero point zero two. And this one is zero point zero eight. Wow. Oh, shoot. Is this one down? Uh, can we uh, have one hundred? Also. 8.5% increase, so is it only 2.4% increase here? Alright, okay. Uh, let's see here. Let's go back into the game again. How is the uh, next report looking? Uh, we're doing over here with that 8% um, normal attack damage increase. 7.5%, okay. 7.5% normal attack damage increase there. We've got the third report, okay. Uh, the third report is if you look at the tube buff, right? You, I think you can see that normal attack damage increase seven point five percent now. Okay, seven point five percent compared to the one before. It has zero percent. Yeah, this one have uh, no. There is it not been showing up here. Right? The normal attack damage not been show up. Uh, on this one, we're seeing that um, seven point five percent. Right, seven point five percent normal attack damage increase here, boy. Uh, so let me uh, look at the report real quick. The number three. Good, good, good. 
Oh, we got that all damage plus 25% kick in this turn. Uh, it's not gonna be a good one. Uh, it's kind of affecting uh, the part a little bit. All damage plus 50%. Oh my god, why? Uh... The one time we don't want to see the all damage increase from that uh, 4 skill, it kicked in. Uh, we might have to discourage it test here. Uh, let's go again for another one here. 15 and that what I'm ex was that what I expect to see unless we're seeing some uh, un unless we got that buff kick in again which is I definitely do not want 25 percent up here this one. Still damage. All right. Uh, hopefully, this one is gonna be better. Please do not trigger that forty percent. No. We got that all damage plus fifty percent again. It's fucking hell! All right, guys. Finally, I got a good report on uh, Attila using uh, seven point five percent normal attack damage increase. Okay. Look at the two buff here. I got seven point five percent normal attack damage increase, and it only took me what? Oh my god, forty minutes. <laughs> Took me 40 minutes to get a good report here that can show you guys uh, the differences, okay? So, in this one, right, uh, I only have a 7.5% normal attack damage increase, okay? And on turn number 3, let's go back to turn number 3 here again. Um, we'll look at the number. So, I do, a, I do an attack. And I was able to deal 569 uh, unit, right? I was able to kill 569 unit. And Attila also do a counter attack damage of 582. So, normal attack damage increase can actually increase the output of your attack and your counter attack. Wow. So, like, I always thought that. Um, like normal attack damage only increase the one that you do your normal attack but here is a proof guy here is a proof showing that normal attack damage actually increasing both normal attack and counter attack damn big big surprise for me here um so here let's look at the difference here so here we have to do a little bit different right we gotta have to um 569 um we're gonna have to do a 569 my 39 is 30 um equal 30 plus oh come on um this one is 5 d5 minus one, three, 
61. Wow. 7.5% normal attack damage actually gave me uh, 61. Definitely more than 8% um, cow attack damage here. I wonder what a 5% can do though. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. Um, so the difference, oh, we had to compare the difference, right? This one is 45. But the 45 had to minus 12, which is 33 only. 33. And this one is 61 minus 12. Okay, 40 something. Hmm. Interesting. Very, very interesting turn of event here. So this one got to be 61. Uh, let's do a 61 over 5 at 30. Base. Eleven point three percent increase total. All right, last one. Uh, we's gonna put on the accessory as well, so that we gonna have a eight percent cow attack damage increase compared to uh seven point five uh, percent normal attack damage increase, guys. Um, so let's find another level forty two. Yep, got level forty two book ban here. Go and kick his ass. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Uh, the normal attack damage actually increased the counter damage as well. Hmm. I did not expect this to happen. I've always thought that uh, normal attack damage increase. Um, only only affect the attack damages. It should it should not have any effect on counter attack, but it does. Hmm. Interesting. A very very interesting turn of event here. Or in seven. Hmm. Very, very interesting, guys. Hmm. So yeah, definitely go for that. Um, definitely go for that normal attack damage increase even more. Especially for the tan tree, if you can. Some of the tan tree for attack commander, you can increase the um, normal attack damage. Decrease active skill damage by six percent more. Gain for interest. One more time, then. All right, here we have the last report. Here, hopefully, it's gonna be a good one. Uh, with nothing. No! I got that all damage plus 50% again. Alright guys. Oh my god. Finally we got the last report that we can use. For our testing. Attila. So on this one. We are running with 7.5% uh, normal attack damage increase. With the accessory. Uh, you can see right here. I'm getting that cat attack damage plus 8% as well. So let's go with the number two here, right? So in turn number two, we got uh, Attila attacked the Barbarian and it lost 570 units. And on the cow attack, it is inflicting 616. Okay. So let's go back here, right? So like with 8% cow attack, cow attack damage increase and 7.5% normal attack damage increase, it giving us the highest number of cow to attack here, right? So, normal attack damage definitely increase counter attack damage, um, and it add up together with the counter attack, counter attack damage increase as well. As you can see right here, so six sixteen is definitely the highest number. 
uh, for counter attack when you combining 8% counter attack and 7.5% normal attack damage together uh, this will give us a D of uh, 570 minus 539 gives me that 30 plus uh, 6 uh, D6 minus uh, 539 Minus 539, 551. Oh, I see three. A total of 95. Wait, so more? Wait, more damage here. Um, three. Seventeen. Yeah. Wow, damn! It's definitely changed how I I look at uh, normal attack damage increase. Right, um, the the damage increase is definitely um coming from the normal attack damage increase. It can be very very good, I think. So, I would say, um. So this only 569 minus 539 is 30, right? 582 minus 551 is also 30 different as well. So like a 7.5% normal attack damage will give you that 7.5% increase in that attack output. But also the same 7.5% increase in that counter attack output as well. And I think that's probably one of the reasons why uh, when you go to the accessory. Okay. Uh, crafting accessory here, right? Uh, the Great Glory gives you normal attack damage plus 5%. When the Book of Covenant, the Vengeance, the Vengeance gives you that 8%. A counter attack damage 8%, which is higher. But I think the Great Glory is better because a 5% in normal attack damage is the it, it, it boosting the, the, the output for that initial, initial attack and it also boosting the output for that when you do the counter attack damage as well when it comes to the battle report when you're looking at the battle log um anytime you do an attack uh, the enemy is gonna do a counter attack on you and that normal attack damage definitely increase that normal attack damage definitely increase help increasing that um uh that counter attack damage here hmm interesting um interesting like when you took when when you are talking about these two accessory right uh, if you are consider crafting one of one of these two um like grace glory is definitely slightly better because it is more uh like an active item okay so like even when you don't gain attack right um you still you can still utilize on your 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 your, your dps on normal attack right um but for the vengeance for the vengeance to work, you had you had to be either do like a one v one or you had to be gang swarm for the vengeance for the for that counter attack damage to kick in. Um, so like great exploit is definitely slightly better than the vengeance guys. Uh, if I if I could uh, choose which one to craft, I would definitely craft the the great glory uh, instead of the vengeance here. If I can turn back in time and <laughs> and choose. Um, man, oh man. Um, so yeah, guys. Right. Um, it took a lot of time for me to do the kind of testing video. Right. I can see right here. Um, uh, my the initial report that I did for my first test was well, like at forty six minutes ago. Um, and it took me a lot of try. It took me a lot of try to get the proper report so that I can use for my data for for the for the test purpose. Uh, just to show you guys that um, uh, the normal attack damage, the normal attack damage can definitely help increase the counter attack damage as well, and that counter attack damage help increasing that only it will only help increasing the counter uh, whenever you launch a counter attack. Right? Let me rephrase this: the normal attack damage increase help increasing the um. <laughs> Let me look at the report here again, okay? And I'm gonna try to rephrase myself again here. 
Alright. So. Uh, the normal attack damage increase. Help increase. The damage when you launch your attack. Okay. But it also help increase the damage when you launch your counter attack. Okay. And the counter attack damage increase. Does not help increase the damage when you launch your attack. But it help increase the damage when you launch your counter attack. Okay. It's a little bit confusing even for myself. Um, and that is why I had to look at the report here so that I can, 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 can say it uh, better. But yeah guys, right? uh, it's very very interesting. Right? I, I definitely learned something new today. I definitely did, did not expect the, the, the outcome to be... Uh, the normal attack damage can actually increase whenever you launch a counter attack. Um, it's definitely something uh, out of my expectation today, guys. Uh, I definitely learned something new today. I hope you guys too. Uh, thanks again for watching the video, guys. Peace.